Don't ever let anybody's opinion or critique or review or bad test screening ever sway you away from any piece of art that you want to be excited about. <laughs>Everybody, welcome back. Justin here, and today I have another update on Robert Eggers' The Northman. To bring you up to speed, The Northman is the next film from writer director Robert Eggers, the director of The Lighthouse and The Witch. He's got a brand new epic Viking revenge story called The Northman, starring Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Willem Dafoe, Anya Taylor Joy. The cast in this thing is massive. Before we even jump into all this test screening stuff, I wanted to let you know I did do a full video on everything we know so far about Robert Eggers' The Northman from the cast what it's about, the writing process, the shooting locations, an excruciatingly detailed video of everything you need to know about Robert Eggers' The North. I mean, I'm gonna link that down below, so check that out, bring yourself up to speed. That'll take you to where we are now, which is the post-production phase. This film is finally being screened. It wrapped production in late last year in December, and now we're in the test screening phase. So today we're gonna talk about the audience reactions to this early test screening of Robert Eggers' The Northman. If you're not familiar with the test screening, essentially what they do is they take an un unfinished, incomplete version of a film, and they show it to a small select group of people, a test audience. People they show these movies to might not even be the audience it's intended for, and that's where a lot of the problems lie with these test screenings. David F. Sandberg, the director of the short film Lights Out, the feature film Lights Out, as well as Shazam, he did an amazing video about test screens and kind of why they're bullshit. So I'm gonna link that video down below because it's a fascinating video about all the inner workings with test screenings and the, the experiences that he's had. Uh, with his own films during test screening, so I suggest you watch that video down below. So I have some of the early audience reactions to Robert Eggers' The Northman. I'm gonna go through a few of those, and then we're gonna talk about why these shouldn't matter to you, why these bad test screenings, and they are bad, why they shouldn't deter you from seeing this movie or any movie that you're interested in seeing for that matter. So let's go ahead and go over some of these test screening reactions and they're not pretty, unfortunately. In this article, it does say that there's some minor spoilers. The only thing that it tells you is like how much or how little on-screen time a couple of these uh, characters have. If you want to know absolutely nothing, you may not want to watch this, but there is some extremely small uh, minor character stuff in this video. So. Take that as you will. Reaction one, the Northman is a work in progress. Obviously, it's a test screening painfully slow. That said, the first two acts are pretty damn solid. Act three is pretty abysmal, overlong, and inconsistent with the previous two acts. Kidman doesn't come prominent until the last half. Defoe is only in it for two scenes, but the time he does have in it is fantastic. It's a two hour and 45 minute big budget Valhalla Rising, essentially. April makes total sense. This is not an awards movie. They have enough time to re-edit the latter 45 minutes. A good movie is in there, just needs to be found. Bjork is in two scenes, yodels and sings in her native language that's it not even exaggerating reaction two. Um, I was also part of the focus group and it was pretty mixed equal amounts of the excellent very good good scores mostly due to people not fully understanding the mythological aspects or the fact that there wasn't enough romance to make you care about scars guard a few people were calling him one note because of it uh, reaction three I liked it which was surprising because gory period films like these aren't normally my thing oh what do you know somebody at a test screening who are, isn't particularly interested in this type of film. Shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. Without getting too much into it, and there's a lot to get into because it's two and a half hours, the story is basically the revenant with the lighthouse type dialogue. It has a lot of Norse mythology references sprinkled throughout. Felt very gotta Google this to see what it means at times. Well, it's a Robert Eggert's film. So what do you expect? It's mainly Skarsgård's show, but Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicole Kidman were scene stealers, in my opinion. I was also expecting it to feel more ensemble than it ended up being which is kind of a shame. Bjork was a cameo while Defoe and Hawk have pretty limited screen time. So there you go, reactions from a few people who may or may not have had any interest in this movie whatsoever had it not been um, a test screening and they said it seems unfinished. I am so shocked that the film seems like a work in progress when they're seeing basically uh, a work print of the movie. So to put this in perspective, let's say these test screening people pull somebody off the street and they say, hey, do you like horror films? And they're like, yeah, I saw Happy Death Day two years ago and that's the only movie I've watched in the last three years. Oh, I like horror movies, oh, I wanna see this movie. And then they sit them in front of, I don't know, The Lighthouse or Hereditary. And they're like, oh my God, that was the worst piece of shit I've ever seen. Is that really the type of audience member you want to judge the movie that you want to see? 
Is that the type of reaction that you want influencing the studios that can force directors to make changes in their films? No. It's like asking somebody, hey, do you want to try this new pizza? And they're like, yes, I love pizza. And then they give them a pizza with a bunch of anchovies and pineapples on it. And they're like, oh, well, I don't like that kind of pizza. This pizza sucks. And then they tell everybody about it. That's what's wrong with these test screenings. So it's like if you take a normie or some person who watches two movies a year and you plop them in front of Midsummer or Hereditary or some, or There Will Be Blood for that matter, they're gonna say it sucks. And if they give their opinions and the studio reads the reactions and they tell, director, you need to cut this, you need to make this change, you're not improving the movie, you're making it worse for the people who would actually want to see it. That's why I am not at all concerned about poor test screenings for The Northman. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I'll end up hating it, I don't know. But a bad test screening ain't gonna sway me from seeing this movie. That's the main takeaway that I want you guys to have. That's the reason I made this uh, video. I made the initial video on Robert Eggers Northman. It seems there's a lot of interest in this movie, so I'm gonna keep you guys posted. But just remember guys, just like Rotten Tomatoes reviews, or any reviews for that matter or test screenings if you have a desire to see a movie you like a certain director you like an actor go see that movie don't ever let anybody's opinion or critique or review or bad test screening ever sway you away from any piece of art that you want to be excited about that you are enthusiastic about don't ever let anybody change your opinion about what you like don't ever let anybody sway you from doing the shit that you want to do, ever, okay? Wait, like, what do you know? Uh, somebody watching a Robert Eggers film written with excruciatingly researched, uh, period-specific dialogue sees that, and it's like, oh, I don't know if I like this. Yeah, it's not for everybody, all right? It's not for everybody. Robert Eggers is uh, an extremely polarizing uh, filmmaker, so... I don't know. That's my rant. That's my information. That's my update. Uh, it's going to be released so far. The release date is April 8th, 2022. I'll keep you updated on any further information, but uh, that's all I got, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I keep, I keep you guys up to date on genre films, horror films, movie news, all kinds of good stuff. So if that sounds good, hit the subscribe button, but definitely like this video. That helps. I'd appreciate it, but that's all I got, guys. Stay weird. Remember, always be yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know what that was. Bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them and I love making them.